questions? You played a lot of man to man today. There was some expectations you played for his own. Did you talk about that? Who expected that? <laughs> <laughs> Their coach? Um, I just wanted to play man. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's some things we have to work on. You know, league starts in a little bit here. Um, and, and I just wanted to guard some of the stuff that they do man-to-man. You know, we were fortunate. Because uh, they're a terrific team. I mean, that, 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 you know, you look at uh, the, the, all that they lost last year. And when you look at their losses and then they come back out, um, you know, and, and to play at the level where they're playing right now, uh, with the young guys that they have out there, is, is that's a very good win against a very good team. But, you know, we just wanted to guard some of their stuff. We have to get better. We have to continue to improve. We have to continue to get better. Can you talk about the contributions that you got? You got contributions technically from every, from six different players in overtime, technically including Jesse, the three-point buzzer. Can you talk about that kind of balance going in? That shot went in at the buzzer? Yeah. yeah. I did not realize that. I did not realize that. Um, well, I mean, we... we you know, we, we, we have to get to the point where we can probably get contributions from more. Uh, you know, I said that, but I thought that this group, you know, to come in, and that was a game, I mean, that was a good college basketball game. You know, it's easy to, I don't know, it might feel a little different if the outcome had been different. But, you know, but it, it's, it's with the flow of the game, which, you know, you could, we could never pull away, they could never pull away. You know, it was back and forth. It was two teams. Uh, you know, that probably, I think, will continue to get better. Uh, but just, it, w- it was a tight, tense game where there was no breathing room. And so for our guys, for our group, for our young group right now that hasn't been in those situations, we have some people, some individuals that have, but collectively that unit hasn't been in that type of situation. And we held on, and we held on, and we stayed with our stuff, and we stayed together, and we, we you know, our execution has to be much better. Our execution who boy has to get much better, but I thought we we were cohesive uh, for the most part. Can you talk about Chris Wright? I mean, Chris, it seems like every time you guys really needed something. He's going to sleep well tonight uh, between exams. And, you know, Chris Wright gives you an honest effort. He works his behind off. You know, he works his behind off, and he's he's growing up. He's growing up on the floor. He's growing up off the floor. Uh, but just his understanding of, of getting his teammates involved, his understanding of what is a big possession, what is not a big possession, his understanding of managing the game, of managing his teammates, uh, he's, he's getting better at that. But he, he, he made big plays, um, and not just baskets. He, he, he made big plays. Talk about it being a tense tight game. And they got all of them, right? Uh, That's what it feels like to me. <laughs> um, and, as a, and you know, a lot of people like to think of basketball as a flow. You get the flow up and down a little bit. That never happens. Is that the, is that the way you? Want? That's the word du jour <laughs> <laughs> of the month, <laughs> maybe of the year. <laughs> but but the way your team is designed, I mean, you probably prefer a game right? like this. No, I prefer a game where we, I like the last one we had. Well, <laughs> that's what I prefer. <laughs> I think this team, I think that our team will get to the point, is getting to the point where we can win different ways. You know, we can, you know, now our offensive execution um, has to continue to improve. We have to be able to know when we get in these tight games, you know, when and, and as the year goes on, as league play starts, as you get later on, if you're fortunate enough to make the postseason, um, you know, you have to be able to execute in the half court to win, period, the end. And so we have a group of guys that are playing together for the first time, and they're feeling their way through that. Um, you know, but they're trying. They're trying to help each other. Uh, but when you play against a team that's as talented as them, that's as well coached as them, um, that plays as hard as they do. Uh, you know, it's hard at either end of the floor. They do a good job at both ends of the floor of uh, letting you get into a rhythm. And so, you know, I think we have to, we're getting there. We have to understand that we can get score different ways, score different ways. There was a, there was a stretch there, you know, probably midpoint of the second half where, and I don't know what the exact number was, but I felt like we took like three or four threes in a row. Two or three of those three or four were quick. Um, and we can get that shot anytime. We can get that shot anytime. Then we settled down. All of a sudden, we got some penetration. We got some drives. We got it in. Um, 
And so we just have to make sure we keep mixing it up and, and turning it over instead of settling. Who? Chris, right? Was or was not? I'm sorry. Was not as, you know, involved in the first I don't know what the first half stats were, but he was, I feel like he was pretty involved in the whole game. I mean, Chris, because that's just it with me. I said this, and you guys that have been covering us know, is relative to our teams in general. In general, you can't pick up this piece of paper and judge who played well, who didn't, who's involved, who's not involved, who's making plays, who's not making plays. Just the way we play, you can't do that. Um, and so I don't know how many points, rebounds, assists Chris had, but his presence the entire game, at the, at, uh, from coming up with loose balls, from defense, from the chatter that he had on defense and talking and helping his teammates, he was extremely involved throughout the game, I thought. John, how tough was it from the standpoint of, it seemed like one off balance, off balance, not the other, back to down, rebound, judging by 21. You shot many more free throws than they did. I mean, it just seemed like one kind of offset throw. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, that number 53 is huge. The number of rebounds they got. That's huge. Um, I, in, in that regard, I think that uh, between Dewan uh and Greg, uh, I think we got a couple of key rebounds. I think we got a couple of key rebounds. We had to come up with the ball. Obviously, we didn't get the one at the end of the first half, at the end of at the end of regulation. But you know, we got a couple of key rebounds when we had to. And so, um, and we have been getting to the line this year. We have been getting to the line significantly more than we have in the past, and just because we, it's for a lot of different reasons. But. Um, I don't know whether that offset or not, you know, I want to keep getting to the line. I want to give up fewer rebounds.